Pioneer. Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. A school year like no other. And I welcome all of you to what is going to be a journey that uh, we've never traveled before, but I'm confident that together we're going to be able to pull this off. This is my 16th opening address as a superintendent of schools on top of many sitting as uh, in another position for a school district uh, would be 28 uh, opening addresses that I've either given or been a part of in my career and none of them like this one. I truly am excited believe it or not, despite everything that we've all been through for this coming school year. And I say that because I know the work that has been put into opening this school year from each and every person that works here. It's because of that work that I genuinely feel excitement, that if there is anybody that's capable of pulling this off, it's Pioneer. We have had more effort put into preparing for what's in front of us than in any school year or any uh, emergency circumstance that I've ever been a part of. From our buildings and grounds department that have covered any and every aspect of their job as they normally would need to and all the extra that's been placed on them. They've done so with incredible work ethic and dedication for Pioneer. Our food service and the 100,000 plus meals that have been prepared for our families back starting in the spring and through the summer for their diligent effort to make sure that people are fed and uh, having their needs met uh, they showed up tirelessly day in and day out. Our IT department from the spring facilitating us reinventing ourselves as educators, uh, the rollout of devices, the training sessions, the, all the preparation work to help people become better uh, users of technology in a crisis and now it's become an everyday part of our workday whether you're in an instructor or a non-instructional staff member, technology that was always around and, and, and important to us is now mission critical. And our IT department and their customer service for making sure that we got things done and done right and done as quickly as possible has been above and beyond. And I thank them for that. Our clerical staff behind the scenes doing all of these things that we needed done to. Uh, to prepare us to open our doors has been amazing. Um, our administrative staff who have stayed steady and we've had our moments, trust me, we've had our moments behind closed doors where we, we honestly were not sure what our next step should be or even where to start. But through conversation, uh, collaboration, reaching back out to those of you who are in, in your fields and are the experts in gathering information and working together. The admin team has stayed strong, they've stayed positive, they've stayed focused, and they have done so much to get us ready to prepare for opening day, and I thank them for that. I, I, I could not possibly thank everybody that's been involved with getting us ready, but those are just a few key critical pieces. But, you know, the PFA, the teachers that finished last school year by reinventing themselves and making sure our students had the best possible experience they could have under emergency circumstances. I credit you for what traditionally education has moved, I've always joked, at glacial paces. We make change very slowly in education historically. Um, I often tell a story of, of my master's thesis looking at educational literature from the 50s, the 70s, and the 90s. And when you read certain excerpts of educational literature from each of those decades, you cannot tell in certain aspects the difference between what generation they came from. 
that was education. We made change gradually, slowly, at glacial paces. This spring, we invent, reinvented how we are going to deliver education. And it, it's the teachers, and you're the masters of your craft. You are the experts in your field. And your ability to rally around your students and our families and your colleagues to support each other to pull that off was exemplary. And I couldn't be more proud to have been a part of that. I know that work continued this summer. I know that we are as ready as we possibly can be under these circumstances to continue where we left off in the spring and educate our children's uh, educational experience the best we can. It's the experts of you as the teachers. It's the support of those of you as teacher aides, teaching assistants, and everybody else that surrounds our children, our counselors, our psychologists, we are a complete family wrapped around these kids, and it's because of your expertise and your preparation for this coming school year that I go back to my opening statement. I'm excited about the uh, place we are in and about what we are ready to start with. And so thank you for all of that. This is a unscripted welcome to you, and that's by, uh, by design. We are going to need to make adjustments as we go. We are going to need to uh, think that we're headed down the right road and we need to be all in, but at the same time recognize that I'm going to have to stop and we're going to need to back up and maybe go in a little different direction or just pause for a little bit. That's going to be the theme of the school year, but I am confident that we will do this as long as we go into it with the right mindset. So this speech is very much uh, purposely set up to be just me standing here and talking to you and welcoming you back to the school year. I've thanked a number of people in the effort that they put forward. I've talked about what we went through in the spring a little bit. And now we're here. We're to the point now where we need to open our doors under the circumstances that we have in front of us and welcome students back in their groups and begin the process of rebuilding our return to learn. Our returning to learning is happening right before us and I know we can do this. Now there are some things that we are going to have to navigate differently. You will have to complete on paper initially the health screening form that uh, just certifies to the best of your knowledge that you are feeling well and that you're safe to come into our building. But while you're here in the first few days of our trainings uh, this week, you're going to receive training on how to do this from your phone uh, remotely before you even leave the house or as you're in the parking lot before you're ready to walk into our building. You can simply go on the phone, on the app, answer those questions, and we've just eliminated that need for the piece of paper. We're going to be wearing masks uh, a majority of our day, and that's a uh, public health and safety obligation that we have. Uh, there's going to be sanitizer and, and uh, soap and water places around the district that we're going to need everybody to uh, uh, really be conscientious about their personal hygiene. We're also going to need all hands on deck in order to hit those high touch surface areas during the course of our school days. And I've had conversations with a number of folks who know exactly what needs to be done and how we all need to pitch in and do those things, myself included, in order to make sure that we might, it might be a job that's normally not our job, but we are trying to do something here that's unprecedented, and we're gonna to need to step up and tackle those things as a team, collectively. And if we all do that, it's, it's manageable. We can do this. But they're simple things that we all just need to pitch in and be able to do. Uh, folks, it's our turn now as a society, as public school educators. Uh, it's our turn now to step up and be those essential workers. We have watched those essential workers in our lives that have, since the very day this became prevalent in our society, have gone to work, worked their 12-hour shifts, they've done their things, uh, that they needed to do, whether it be uh, in a medical field, whether it be an emergency responder, whether it be somebody who's simply working in the grocery store, 
in a gas station, those folks that never once missed a beat when this became a societal issue, they were deemed essential workers for the right reasons. I, I stand here today and say that it's time now for us as public school educators to view ourselves as essential workers. It is critical that our children get an educational experience, whether it's on our campuses or whether it's through remote learning, a combination of the two, all with the intention of us getting back to a regular running school district with students in attendance, with clubs being run, with sports events to go to. That is our ultimate goal. But in order to get there, it's going to take all of us to create this sense that I am essential for this to happen. Whether you are sitting in my chair as a superintendent or whether you are coming in and cleaning our buildings after the school day is over and everybody's gone home and everybody that fits into our categories in between those positions, you are an essential part of what we're trying to do. We are going to work together to pull this off. We had a reopening committee that worked very collaboratively this summer and helped us shape some critical things, fully recognizing that it's a broad umbrella of a plan for us to get started and we're going to adjust that. I need all of us to approach the school year just like our reopening committee did. I need you to come in and recognize I have a critical role to this and that role will change and evolve as the school year evolves. Our school board stands behind each and every one of us. I have never worked with a group of people who are as genuinely invested in the pioneer experience for our students, our faculty, and staff as I am sitting with this, this school board. They know that we have hired outstanding people. They know that we have a long-standing group of veterans who are the core and the strength, the cornerstones behind all the years of expertise and success pioneers had. They're behind all of us, whether you were hired this summer or whether you're putting in your 42nd year here with Pioneer. They are behind you as a school board and they will support us in our endeavor to pull off what we're going to pull off. I am supremely confident in each and every one of you. I'm supremely thankful for each and every one of you. As this opening is different than others, as I said in the beginning, a lot of what you're going to get this uh, week is going to be very centered on your building and within your department. And that's by design because that's the best place to get the information that you need to start the school year. It's different than our broad scale opening that we've had, but it's by design. It's gonna be a great week. It's a great opportunity to collaborate with those folks that are around you, ask questions, share ideas, but thank you. Thank you in advance for making the opening next week for our students the best ever. Welcome back to the school year, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you.